And I started November 15th, 2004, after an episode where I almost got run over by a dump truck. And I said, suppose, uh, suppose you get hit by that dump truck. You've been retired two weeks. People are going to go, oh, poor Gary, he just retired. Then he got killed by hitting, a dump truck hit him. I wonder what his last photograph was. Ding. So I went home and registered my final photo, started the project the next day, and I've made, every, made a photograph every day since then. And it's 7,306 photographs. Yeah. And, and they are all published at myfinalphoto.com. I never ask. That's, that's one of my rules. I never ask for two reasons. One is if, if I do get asked, it's usually after I've made photographs. And if I do ask, it typically changes the scene of what I'm making photographs of. It will become performance more than the actuality of what was happening. So that's why I don't ask. I don't want a performance. Let's go make photographs. Let's go make some photographs. Yes. I've been focusing on the, the farming nature of, of Westerville. At, at one time, this was all farms. Where we're standing at one time was probably an apple orchard. People complain about farmland disappearing, but they're living on farmland. I look for three things when I go out every day. Something new, something different, something better. Bingo. All right, I'm done. Yeah, I can show you. You get a foreground, helps set the depth. Good scene setter, covers the background. So the background is not so obvious. Narrow depth of field, it's out of focus. Got the soybean dust. That'll take a good edit. That, that's a nice picture to tell the story of the day. That, that, that will probably be my final photo for the day.